Hey there, weavers. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. I thought I would show you my technique for unweaving using an end feed shuttle. So if you've used an end feed shuttle, you know that when you pass it through the shed, uh, as it goes through and you put tension on the yarn, it will feed through here automatically. If you're unweaving, that can be a problem because it tries to do the same thing as you're unweaving. So here's my technique. I open a shed and I open the right shed and I pull the thread up to that 45 degree angle that we be on. I put the shuttle through and then just as it's coming through, I will grab the shuttle, either with my left or my right hand, but I will also grab that thread so that it can't unwind off the perm. And I will pull it all the way through. Then the next shed, again, I will grab the shuttle, so that I'm always holding tension so that it doesn't unwind off the perm and pull it through. I'll continue to do this for however many picks that I need to do it for or until I get to the point where I really don't have a manageable amount of yarn to pull through or it's starting to get tangled. So let's say I'm where I want to be. Or let's say I want to, I don't wanna to have to mess with all this length. I pull the pen out and you can leave it threaded through the tensioning. And then I wind on by hand not the fastest thing to do, but it's easier than getting tangled um, thread. And sometimes I will do it this way, but because it's kind of in the middle, it, it's just easier to do it. Roll it on. And I do that until I have used up all my slack. Now, it ended up coming out. No big deal. Just push it back on, push it down, feed it back through. And we're ready to start weaving again. So, that's it. Um, it's worked for me. I unweave a fair amount um, because I get distracted and I end up just kind of weaving along like I did here and um, I wove too far. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and get notifications when I release new videos. Thanks and happy weaving.